Very smooth. Forget safe primes. Here we like to live life dangerously. Uh, they give us Python code. It's output.txt. It says, don't look at me. Go ask Mr. Pollard if you need a hint. So I'll walk you through this. Basically, the first thing you want to do is sort of Google their clues include smooth, primes, that's RSA, and Pollard. So if you Google with smooth, primes, RSA, and Pollard, the top link is to this Pollard's P-1 algorithm. So Pollard's P-1 algorithm on Wikipedia allows us to find the factors of n if P-1 has like some property. The factors of it are rather small. And if you look back at gen.py, gen.py is specifically designed to make sure that these factors are small. So you'll see in the code for gen.py that we're checking to make sure the bit length is small. There's this notion of smoothness. When you run gen.py, you get an n such that p and q have these small factors. So you, in order for the Pollard's algorithm to work, you need for the factors of p minus 1 to be small and for q minus 1 to have a bigger factor. So that's what we get there. So now to actually apply this to the problem, I want to find somebody who's implemented Pollard's P-1 in Python. I get to this Geeks for Geeks article. These people nicely pro provided some source code for me. I did make some changes to it. I'll show you the changes that I made. So one thing that I did is I borrowed this code from gen.py. So because my Python version actually is less than 3.9, it was important to make math, GCD, and LCM be these GCD and LCM that we borrowed from Gimpy. Um, now there's the Pollard algorithm. This Pollard algorithm is almost exactly what I got for Geeks for Geeks. I made a change here to use the uh, power function that's built into Python. Rather than doing a star star i, this modular power function is going to be faster and compute that correctly. And I changed it so that, let's see. Down here in this loop, I know there are only two factors, so I simply return the two factors. R, it was doing this integer conversion of num divided by d. That didn't work, so I changed it to this integer division of num divided by d. So again, this is the, the geeks. For geeks code, I plugged in my value of n, which I got from this text file, which I downloaded from the Pico site. Right? There's output txt. So it gave me n and c as the ciphertext. So once I have found the two factors, I know e from gen.py, 65,537. I compute m, uh, which is the least common multiple of p minus 1 and q minus 1. d is the multiplicative inverse of e. There is my ciphertext. I raise it to the d power mod n. I print it in hexadecimal. So I run that previously. So there were my factors, which it found. It took, you know, less than a minute, I'd say. Then when I run that, it also gives me this answer. That's my plain text. That's in hexadecimal, so I Google something that's going to go from hex to ASCII. I plug it in and I get my flag. So Pico CTF. And I can put that over here and get my 300 points.